Hi, this is Jake Von Slott, and I want to show you a couple things I have done to make things a little bit easier for myself in the workshop. Uh, these are things that have to do with dust extraction. Uh, what I used to do is roll around a big shop vac and hook it up to each of the machines as I was using them, and it was constantly getting in the way, and it was never where I needed it to be, and it was just a pain in the ass. It was loud, too. Um, what I realized is that I was finding a steady supply of uh, domestic vacuum cleaners uh, from our town dump. So I started collecting them and uh, attaching, dedicating a vacuum cleaner to each of my tools. So here on the table saw I've done an Electrolux canister vacuum and it is permanently attached here uh, uh, using a, 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 a rubber plumbing adapter. Uh, to the bandsaw and the switch in the bandsaw is actually has enough of a current rating so I was able to simply wire the vacuum cleaner in so it operates with the bandsaw. So easy as can be, no more lugging around the, uh, the, the shop vacuum. Uh, the only thing that I would change is uh, when I find a, uh, another bit of hose I'm going to make a little bit longer hose here so I can uh, unplug the hose and use it to clean up the, uh, the, the, the top of the bandsaw, but otherwise I'm very pleased with this arrangement. Uh, let me show you my table saw now. The table saw was a little bit more complicated. Now I had already sealed it up. I used uh, a spray can foam uh, to seal the, the top between the body and the table and uh, covered the base in um, uh, plexiglass and taped it up with duct tape to seal it. So when I hooked up the shop vac, it would pull everything down through the table. Uh, so, the change that I made is I extracted the vacuum motor from a Sears Kenmore canister vacuum and I attached it to the side of the table saw. I cut a hole in the side and I uh, mounted a steel panel here. And then inside I attached a shop vac filter to the inside. Um, and then I built this drawer assembly so that I could empty it out. And the uh, switch in the table saw was not quite enough uh, current capacity to handle the vacuum cleaner and the uh, table saw. In fact, it wasn't nearly enough uh, current capacity. So I added a relay and another switch on the side to, uh, to power the vacuum cleaner. Um, oh, and, and one of the other, one of the other uh, tricky bits was the slot where the miter wheel moved. And that I covered with this piece of magnet. This is a, a sign from a Comcast uh, contractor. I found it laying in the road. And uh, cut that up, and that is just the ticket to cover that slot. So I'm, I'm very, very pleased with the way this has worked out. And uh, it is so much more convenient than rolling that shop back around. This is Jake Von Slat. See you next time.